Today I'm going to be showing you my springtime lookbook. As usual, most of my outfits will be like scene, emo, somewhere around there, but of course my personal style is kind of all over the place, so you'll see bits and pieces of a bunch of shit happening. I just want to address that because I probably titled this video something like Scene Kid Spring Lookbook, and I don't want you to look at an outfit and be like, that's not scene, like congratulations, you're probably right, but I take inspiration from a lot of different subcultures, so not everything is going to look like it came out of MySpace from 2009. Also, when I think of springtime, it doesn't really overlap with scene fashion because I mean when I think of spring I think of like floral pastels all the thing that scene kids don't wear but either way I managed to put some outfits together and I think I did an okay job we'll see also I just wanted to bring up I would prefer they them pronouns like I was going with she they for the longest time but the more that I hear she her pronouns I just don't like them and I know I present very feminine and I definitely expect that I'm not gonna be referred to as they them 100% of the time on YouTube because I'm sure if you click on a video and you see someone that looks like this you're probably like oh girl which I'm used to so it doesn't bother me all that much but I've come to the realization that I do in fact prefer they them so if you would use those when referring to me or just fucking say you like you're commenting on my video you're talking to me I did put my pronouns in my channel description because I know not every one of my subscribers is going to watch this video like I don't know it doesn't have to be a thing because I care very minimally about my gender identity <laughs> But when I go through my comments and I see the majority of comments being like, oh, I love her, or like, hon, I love your channel. I just, bleh. too much, too much. I would just like it to be at a point where I could ignore it. But this is my first springtime scene outfit. I have the classic sweater and jeans combination. I own a lot of sweaters for someone who doesn't get to wear them a lot. Like I live in the South and it's never really sweater weather. Like my weather is always either very cold or you're going to get heat stroke and die. But at least I can put my sweaters to use in my little YouTube video. I also have on some of these boot heel thingies with the fur on the edges. I also put on a little quartzy necklace because I felt like this outfit was something that I would have reblogged on Tumblr in like 2016. So I had to add that element. A lot of my outfits are usually very extra. And with the scene style, it usually calls for a lot of accessorizing and uncomfortable clothing. So I'll have outfits that I'll put together for a YouTube video and then I would never wear it out of the house because it would be mentally painful. <laughs> But this is something I would actually wear, assuming the weather would allow me to wear it. And I'm also assuming I would want to go somewhere in fucking six inch heels. My feet hurt, so I'm gonna take this off now. Here's my next outfit. Okay, I do not know about this bow anymore. It's not the same pink as the pink on my sweater. I guess I just have to live with it because I do not have a more accurate bow color. <laughs> it looks fine in my other lighting, but now it just does not. But I got my glittery pink and yellow sweater and a dark gray camisole underneath because these holes are very large and I had to wear something underneath. I opted for a denim skirt because I felt like it was a very neutral option. In my experience, striped sweaters are really hard to style or like the chunky stripes like these not just like regular stripes so I kind of didn't know what the fuck else to do with it so slapped a denim skirt on I have my inappropriately pink bow on I also have my glittery baby fat high tops on I was thinking about wearing belts but I don't think it would look good I feel like that would be too much going on so that's kind of why I kept my accessorizing to a minimum I know this doesn't necessarily scream scene kid but I think the denim skirt really gives it a more authentic look I hate living in an apartment complex. I just heard someone pee and then run away. Also, someone in my building got a fucking electric drum kit recently. I don't know why that's not illegal, but that's what I've been dealing with as of late. But yeah, I really like denim skirts with hard to style pieces because I feel like it just adds some sort of tackiness that makes the rest of the outfit make sense. So if you have a hard to style item like fucking this, just add a denim skirt because then anyone who looks at you will be like, oh, you just dress like that. I feel like I could have gone with a different necklace, but I know I did want to wear a candy necklace because I don't know, I was gonna say so it would give away the scene kidness, but I forgot that I had the bow on, so I guess I just didn't have to wear the necklace. It doesn't serve much of a purpose here. The more I look at this sweater in my camera, the more I don't like it. Like it looks fine in real life, but then I look at the camera and I'm like, ah, oh. yeah, I've never had too much luck with chunky stripes. But I think as an outfit, I kind of pulled it off. 
here's another one. I would say as a whole, it's not really giving me springtime, but let me walk you through my reasoning here. I really wanted to do something with this jacket because it's floral print. And I chose this Paramore shirt because it's a similar yellow to the jacket that I'm wearing, except it's really not. This is more of a mustard, so never mind about that, I guess. And I had the top of the outfit down and I decided that it needed some capris. So I have some baby fat capris and I don't know if it's like the way that I'm wearing them, but they're definitely more like knee length cargo shorts, I guess. And once I started putting it on, I was like, oh, this is more like early 2000s surfer person outfit. And then I was like, well, you can't be a tomboy caricature without graphic converse. So I put on these little guys. So I don't know, it's definitely not what I was envisioning, but I still like it. I was originally planning on wearing this hat, but I'm not a fan of the gray and brown combination. Maybe if I took this off it would work. This is definitely more seen, I would say. I still don't like this hat. It's so pointy. I don't know why I can't pull these off. So that's all my reasoning for this outfit. I quite like how it came out. I would say it's definitely within my style. No, I know exactly what this outfit reminds me of. Recently, me and my friend watched this late 90s movie called Billboard Dad, which I had never heard of, but it's one of those movies where I was watching it and I was like, why have I not heard of this? Because it was amazing. And it's basically where Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen live in California and have a hot artist surfer dad and he can't get over his dead wife so they're basically like Hmm, we need to advertise our father so he can get a woman. So they put a picture of him on a billboard and tell the town to write him letters. And like, I put it on because I thought it was gonna be like a stupid movie to fall asleep to, but it was thoroughly enjoyable and I really liked the fashion in it. I know I mostly focus around early 2000s fashion, but I do sometimes take inspiration from the late 90s. I look like I'm about to walk up and ask you to go to the No Doubt concert with me. Check this out. Two tickets to the No Doubt concert for next weekend. That's so cool. Billboard Dad, is this billboard getting the results you wanted? Oh. <laughs> All right, now we're back in familiar territory. This is an outfit that you could look at me and be like, that is a scene person. I found this top at Walmart recently and it was a tank top, but I cut the top off. So now it's a tube top and I think it's a lot more flattering. I also got my little fluffy pink skirt and this just felt naked. So I slept on a studded belt over it. I kept my heart necklace on because it looked good. And I also put on a little tiara. I was thinking about putting on a bow, but none of my bows felt right for this outfit. So I went with the tiara. I have on my little fish neck gloves and finally some high tops. I figured they went well with this outfit because they're blue and pink. I'm definitely a fan of how this one turned out. When I bought this shirt from Walmart I was like hmm I don't know. The whole like sky and butterfly shirt remind me of the Y2K trend specifically from 2018 like when people were just starting to get into it. So it definitely adds a little bit of a more modern touch to this outfit but I don't think it clashes too bad. I can say pretty comfortably that this is a springtime fit. After all it is pretty light in color. I wish you could see my tiara better. It keeps getting eaten up by my hair. Ooh I found a turquoise hair in my gloves. A piece of history. I don't know I can't think of anything else to talk about with this one. my next one. So I started out with this cardigan because I definitely thought it was very springtime on its own and I thought it would look good with a gray shirt of some sort. So I went with this lacy cardigan and then I found this floral skirt that I happen to have and I was like oh boy this is perfect. I also added this belt with the pink hearts on it because I felt like I needed some pink somewhere else to make it a little bit more cohesive. I kept my necklace on because it looks good. <laughs> like it's annoying having to change an entire outfit and your necklaces so I've just been keeping it. I also have my very dirty floral vans. A lot of my shoes desperately need to be cleaned, but I do not know how to clean shoes. I have looked it up time and time again, and I try it out, and I just, it doesn't work. <laughs> it never works, and I don't know why, so I just leave them untouched. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's, like, too much going on here. Maybe it would look better with the cardigan off, because this is pretty cute on its own. I don't know. I like the cardigan. I think it's cute. I've had this skirt for a long time, too. I'm glad I finally figured out what to do with it, because it was definitely one of those things that I thrifted, because I thought it was cute and I'm like how do I wear this? Plain camisoles are just the answer to all my problems. I didn't really want to go with any hair accessories because I felt like this was a very basic outfit and I wanted to keep it that way. These shoes are so nasty. Hopefully they don't pick up on camera how gross they are. They were white and now they are borderline brown. I never really even worn them too often. I don't know. I guess they're just old, which they are. They are really old, but like you can definitely see the contrast between my white skirt and my not white shoes. Yeah, it's fine. I'll live.
So for this one, I started with this little floral dress. Then I figured I wanted to add some white fishnets. And I was like, oh, it'll give me like a nice little contrast to the dress or something. But then it started giving me like an Alice in Wonderland sort of vibe. So I just ran with that. Since the holes on these particular tights are really small, so they just look like opaque tights essentially. So of course I had to add the black Mary Janes, a choker and a little headband. I think this ended up being really cute. Simple, elegant, springtime. I don't know about the headband. I'm not used to wearing headbands with scene hair. Can't really see it too well. My only beef with this outfit is that this dress is really short. Like it doesn't look too short when I'm just like wearing it, but when I'm going out about my day, it is just too short. Oh, look at the back though. It's a little bit like open, little open thing. I always thought that was so cute. These fishnets must either be really cheap or I don't realize how easy it is to break fishnets. Cause like I have long nails and I keep trying to pull on the fishnets, but it just ends up putting weird holes in my tights. Never noticed that before. I mean, this is a new pair, but I paid like fucking eight dollars for these two, probably. Here's my next outfit. Actually, never mind. The belts are leaving. Here's my outfit. <laughs> I really wanted to include these pastel shorts. So of course I have a matching bow for them. And then I have a cute is what we aim for shirt, of course. Random candy necklace, random candy, and some random vans. I don't know how much I like this bow on unteased hair. It looks rather big. But at the same time, I don't like teasing my hair because I hate wearing hairspray. Take a struggle. Oh yeah, I also threw on some ripped tights just because I needed something to make it a little more interesting, I guess. Man, if you ever need to dye your hair black, don't use Arctic Fox as Transylvania. I'm pretty sure you shouldn't be buying from Arctic Fox anyway, but Transylvania is horrible. Out of all the hair colors that I've tried in my entire life, Transylvania has given me the most issues. It bleeds literally nonstop. Like for the first few days, I I left it unshampooed for like maybe a week or so, and some of it had already managed to transfer into my blonde streak. I don't know how, maybe I just get sweaty in my sleep or something. And I was like, okay, whatever, like it's blonde. There's gonna be bleeding into it. I was expecting it for sure, but Jesus Christ, like it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop bleeding. I'm on maybe my third shampoo, which I did today, and it still managed to turn my entire shower black on the third fucking shampoo. And I was using like color saving shampoo. It's absolutely ridiculous. And like when I wash my hair, I split it. Like the pink is up here and the black is down here and I wash them separately so they don't mix. But of course my parting job isn't perfect and now I got fucking random like purple splotches in my hair from back here. Oh, it's just the worst. It is the worst color I could have possibly asked for. And like I knew as a semi-permanent black it would be at least a little annoying, but it exceeded my expectations. It's the worst. But at least when it gets in my blonde, I can use color remover and it turns it into like a hot pink, which is so bizarre. This fucking color is like made of every color of the rainbow. Like when you shampoo it, it turns everything blue. When it fades, it turns mostly green, I've heard. And then when you bleach it, it turns pink. I don't know, it's just not at all what I was expecting. It's very strange. But yeah, I hope that doesn't look too strange. A dark purple bit within everything else happening. Lovely. Yeah, I don't know, I guess I'm done talking about this one. I've got the gift of one line as you got the curse of the curve. Okay, next outfit. The whole reason I put this together was because of these tights that I found at the thrift store. They're like little cupcakes. I saw them and I was like, oh, interesting. <laughs> of course, graphic leggings of any kind smell like 2014 tumblr i'm kind of thinking of like galaxy leggings but i definitely saw the power of graphic leggings reach even further than just tumblr so i saw them and i was like i wonder if i can make them work and of course with a statement piece as drastic as this one I had to tone it down with the other stuff. I threw on a lacy black camisole because I didn't want to deal with anything. It was a very easy option to choose. And I also got this little fitted skirt latex thing. I know it's not latex. Fake latex, I don't fucking know. It's very noisy. It makes a sound every time I move. Oh God, my bracelets are noisy too. I also put on a tiara in case my intentions with this outfit weren't clear because graphic leggings are very risky. I have these heels, but I haven't put them on yet because they are going to make me very tall. Now it's kind of getting a Jeffree Star vibe from this a little bit, so I threw on my butcher knife necklace. And of course the cupcake Hello Kitty because the cupcake leggings. I'm thinking I could have gone with a belt, but I also kind of just didn't feel like it. And I do not think a belt would have hurt. Yeah, whatever. I got that Terminator clock, you can give me a side burglar, I can swallow the hoe, so wet and flow. 
on. Okay, this next outfit isn't the most exciting thing in the world, but I just wanted an excuse to show off this dress because I got it recently and it's really pretty. My favorite thing in the world is sparkly dresses, and this is a very sparkly dress. I guess I can kind of fit it into the springtime theme. I mean, prom is in spring, right? Let's just pretend this is a prom dress. It's a bit of a reach, but you know. I don't love the little band thingy here, but I'm not able to remove it, which is unfortunate. So it's just gotta stay there. I also thrifted these recently. I would put them on, but again, they are going to make me topple. I also put on fishnets just to make sure everyone knows that I'm still edgy. I would've killed for a dress like this in high school. Like, I remember my sophomore year, junior year, I went to homecoming, but it was like semi-impulsive and my dad was like, I'm not just gonna buy you a new dress for this thing that you don't even really want to go to. So we went Goodwill scavenging a few times and the only dress I could really find was this like ugly navy blue one. It wasn't that ugly, but it was still pretty ugly. Anyway, fuck you 16 year old Anna, now I have a sparkly dress. <laughs> last outfit because I'm getting tired. I chose this candy dress because I was just looking through my wardrobe for things that looked bright and happy. Then I realized this bow matched perfectly with my dress. And I'm not a super huge fan of this shape of this dress, so I put a shrug over it. Or at least I think that's what this is called, a shrug. It makes me feel like a mid-2000s Disney character. And going along with the theme of sweets, I chose a gummy bear necklace and some random ruffly heels. I don't know, I didn't think too hard about the shoes. I just threw some on. This outfit makes me feel like Harper from Wizard to Waverly Place. Oh, how fun is that? I have earrings that would go well with this, but that is just too much work. I want to go to bed. <laughs> I guess that's approximately the end of my video. I kind of fell off my regular uploading schedule because I've been going through a bit of a burnout. And I hope that doesn't show through too much in this video. I feel like I've definitely been lower energy. But I don't know, I'm doing my best. Thanks. Bye.